right. Thanks, Tazdim. Uh, we are moving on to an anti-aging breakthrough, which is something that a lot of people are looking forward to, especially women and nowadays men, you know. Yes, I know. And yeah. uh, people are talking about, you know, with uh, 40 being the new 30, and 60 being the new 40. So everyone wants to look younger and they want to lock in the youth. And today we are talking to Dr. Mark Bartlett, who is the Vice President, Global Research and Development at Pharmanex, who's going to tell us about an anti-aging breakthrough. Good morning, Dr. Bartlett. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Well, let's start off with this uh, concept of aging and anti-aging and why are so many people out there are so obsessed to preserve their youth? You could probably ask every person that question. <laughs> they have their own answers, right? Yeah. You know, uh, we look at our parents and our grandparents and we think that, uh, well, it used to be that 50 or 60 was old, right? Yeah. Now at 50, people are doing their first marathons mm. and they certainly don't want to sort of look old. They want to look good as they age. Mm -hmm. It's related to how they interact with their, um, you know, in their social life yeah. and also in their, in their jobs. People mm -hmm. just want to look good. They want to feel good. Yeah. So who ages faster, women or men? That's Ooh. a really good question. <laughs> and in fact, that very question has given us a great insight as to the sources of aging as mm. we tr sort of try to target the sources rather than the signs, of si signs and symptoms. Mm. So actually, uh, as you look at men and women, it's often said, oh, the men seem to age so gracefully into their old age and look good, and the women seem to decline very quickly after middle age. Right. And that's actually true, that, uh, that there are, uh, as hormone levels drop in women, as you age, they drop quite precipitously, and that affects your hair, your skin, your nails. Mm. And uh, with men, it's a much more gradual decline. On the other hand, men usually don't live as long as women. So mm. internally, uh, women are not aging faster. It just appears that way. Right. And that actually has given us some insights as to how to target those sources of aging. Okay. Mm. So what actually spurred your interest in studying uh, overall human health and nutrition and how to help uh, unlock the secrets of anti-aging? And uh, how different is it for women compared to men? Or how different is it now as compared to, say, 10 years uh, earlier. Yeah, you know, for the most part, when you look at anti-aging strategies, or it's, the first thing people think of is personal care, right? The products mm. that they put on their skin that help them to look younger, whether it's the makeup outside. or moisturizing. Mm. You know, I think in the last 10 years, in general, for most people and most companies' approaches, it hasn't changed very much. Mm. For us, though, it has changed dramatically. And the reason for this is our new understanding of the human genome. At about the turn of this century, around the year 2000, they sequenced the entire human genome. And we thought at that time that they would give us huge breakthroughs into medicine and anti-aging for that matter. Right. Um, in, in truth, not a lot has happened. But we discovered something that, uh, that has changed the way we do look at aging and target aging. We've always suspected that your lifestyle, you know, your stress, things like that, and your nutrition, nutrition right. affects gene expression, how the genes uh, operate in the body and, mm -hmm. and, and control the cells and keep them young or age them. But we've never known how to measure that. Mm -hmm. uh, but just lately we've been able to measure that. Using gene chip technology, we can now measure aging at the genetic level. Mm -hmm. Now that we can measure it, now we can test to see lifestyle, personal care and nutrition, how that affects gene expression. Right. Okay. And at the same time, how, how have you seen uh, the anti-aging products uh, evolve? Let's just say, if you were to compare 10 years, uh, you know, 10 years back and right now. Uh, well, we would hope that people are starting to look at the sources of aging rather than just the signs and symptoms. So rather than just cover up the symptoms of aging, mm. trying to target, you know, what causes aging, right. what kind of ingredients, either in personal care or in nutrition, can actually help to change that. Right. Um, and, and as I said, uh, for the most part, it's difficult to get an insight into that, but the gene story has helped us to do that. Mm. So now, uh, as we test personal care product active ingredients, we can now see if they're changing genes in a positive way to make them look more like a younger cell, like younger skin okay. or the younger body. That's the approach that we're using right now at New Skin. And with that being said, uh, do men and women require different products to, uh, for anti-aging? Uh, you know, for the most part, the same. Okay. Uh, you know, you have, basically you have to protect what you have. There are two things that you need to protect. You need to protect your skin structure in order for it to look good. Yeah. So it's elastin and collagen. Mm. And then you need to also protect your genome. 
You need to be able to make sure that the genes aren't damaged yep. and that they can repair themselves and express themselves properly. So those are the two approaches that both men and women need to use. Mm. Protect what you have, your skin structure and your genome. Yes, that's mm. what people always get wrong actually. They think <laughs> that anti-aging products can help you reverse the clock, but that can really not be done except for surgical procedures. You have to begin early so that you protect what you already have and mm. you stay young, not right. yeah. get younger by the day because that's impossible, right? Yeah. right. Right, yeah, it's very hard to actually reverse, although as we look at uh, gene expression, mm -hmm. if you change your nutrition strategy, if you have sufficient micronutrients and antioxidants, and also if you understand how genes express themselves and then you change the way you live and your diet and your health, yep. you can actually reverse the way those genes express themselves. Mm. It may not reverse aging, but it does protect what you have. Right. Okay. So what is age-related supermarkers? As we have learned uh, the differences in gene expression between young and old, yep. so now we understand which genes are changing right. as you age. Mm. So then the goal now that you can measure that is to uh, screen for ingredients right. both in skin and inside that can reset that pattern to a younger pattern. Mm. So then these youth gene clusters, those yep. are the genes that are changing as you age. Those oh. are the ones that you need to target as you test for ingredients that can actually actually help them to reverse that pattern. Okay. Right. Now so you can actually reverse it then? That's right, yes. Ooh. So um, the gene expression pattern of an old cell or cells in an older individual are quite different to the gene expression pattern of a younger. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you know the right strategy, you can actually reset that pattern so that it looks like a younger gene expression pattern. Oh, that's the breakthrough. That's interesting. Okay, so let's talk about age lock. What exactly is it and how can it actually lock your age? All right, well age lock is really the the name of the strategy that we have uh, used at New Skin that uses just that approach. Mm -hmm. This new insight into measuring aging at the genetic level and since now you can measure the aging at the genetic level, you can screen for ingredients both in personal care and in inside nutrition mm -hmm. to, to reset that. So the age lock is really the name of our New Skin's strategy for targeting mm -hmm. the sources of aging mm -hmm. and it results in a product development strategy that then leads to uh, to products that right. help uh, and keep you young. What sort of differences or changes that one can see once they started using age lock? Uh, it's really, you know, that's amazing. That's what's been amazing to me because mm. really um, scientists deal a lot in sort of just academics, yeah. uh, in theories, and uh, you apply the theories and you hope that it makes a difference. Doing tests and, and all that. Yeah. That's right. And a lot of the time, even though the science is really cool, mm -hmm. you don't expect to see a big difference right away. Yeah. That's been the biggest surprise to us. As we've used this gene strategy to target the sources of aging, we've seen differences very quickly in the skin, the appearance of the skin, the moisturization level, the radiance, mm -hmm. the, the, the fine lines and wrinkles. Mm -hmm. And we've also seen very quickly differences inside in, in uh, cognitive function and, and energy levels. How soon is that? Yeah. Uh, we're talking um, a couple of weeks right. that you can start to see and feel the difference. And how long will the effect last? Is it just temporary or you know, is it going to be sort of like semi-permanent? You know, it just it depends on how long one, the other person uses it. Right. Yeah, well, you know, as you'd expect, uh, gene expression mm -hmm. is something that has to be constantly tickled in the right direction. Mm -hmm. So you can't just sort of take a magic pill today mm -hmm. and have that change of gene expression sort of like an X-Man <laughs> for the rest of your life. Yeah, true. So it, it requires constant strategy. And it's common sense, isn't it? You know, okay. nutritional strategies have to be have to be taken all your life. Mm -hmm. Just as you said, you prevention is your whole life. You mm -hmm. don't just sort of wait and then you have an instant change. You can't so really just you wait till you're 50 and okay, I'm gonna look younger and right. <laughs> automatically do. Yeah. Okay, so age lock is the technology and it's also the range of products from new skin. Tell us about the products then. Do we yep. have to use it by themselves or because Is these top, days yeah. Yeah. women like to use eye creams and True. BB creams so True. can they wear it together with yep. those other products? Absolutely, mm -hmm. yes. They're all compatible. Um, you know, I think overall the best res best uh, res results come from treating the inside and the outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, of course, you try to you screen for ingredients that can target the sources of aging for your skin, and that can result in really good personal care products. Right. But if you don't have wellness on the inside, mm -hmm. then you can't have optimal results on the outside. Mm -hmm. yes. So, our approach yeah. at New Skin is really inside and oh. outside for wellness and beauty. They, right. they work together. So, the products of uh, Age Lock is actually 
uh, it's just uh, skin care, but at the same time, what, what happens on the inside? Do you, do you also have to also maintain, uh, well, you know, a healthy lifestyle, diet and exercise? Absolutely. They're all so related. Mm -hmm. And it's sort of like, you know, where do you start? So, uh, you know, for example, the best anti-aging products in the world are not going to work great if you're smoking because that's going to age you much faster. Mm -hmm. So looking after your weight, making sure that you're not uh, too overweight mm -hmm. and that you're exercising moderately, that you've got a healthy life, that's really the, the foundation, that's where you start. Mm -hmm. Then nutrition, of course, is important. You have to have basic micronutrient nutrition in order to protect your genome. You know, the enzymes that repair the genes right. and then antioxidants to protect the genes so that's important and then of course personal care so uh, they work together but of course uh, you know it's common sense isn't it that it doesn't make sense to spend a lot of money on anti-aging products if you are not uh, trying to stay trim and eat well and uh, and exercise okay uh, I, how i wish we could cover more ground here because <laughs> i've heard of new skin uh, quite some time ago yes. and i heard that you have to use it uh, you can use it with galvanic spa it's actually an application method right. so uh but we've run out of time thank you so much yep, for joining us welcome. this morning Dr. Okay. where and how can we get more information about uh, age lock uh you can go to newskin.com mm -hmm. website and yep. there'll be all sorts of information there to help you understand the strategies wonderful right. thank you so much dr mark thank you You're so welcome. much for joining us uh on your final day in Malaysia, I understand. Yes. You're going back tomorrow? Uh, <laughs> well, I actually head to Singapore tomorrow. Oh, oh great. Okay. Well, we hope you enjoy your stay and your Thank trip. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. much.